Guys, what's going on? This is Wise back with another video of uh, Java Central Training Series. So in this video, I'll be talking about switch statement. So basically, switch statement is alternated to if and else statement in Java. Switch is a case sensitive. It's similar to C++ switch. Switch, uh, switch statement allow you to um, choose a block of statement to run from a selection of code based on the return value of an expression. The expression used in a switch statement must return integer or a string value. Alright, so I'm gonna give you a quick example how to use switch statement. So let's start by declaring a variable. I've imported um, scanner class, so let's do the other way. Okay, so I'm going to make a scanner here, okay, and I'm going to give a value scan, okay, is equal to new scanner right and then i'm going to type system dot in to take input from the console okay now let's declare a variable so i'm going to int okay i'm going to say month is equal to okay and i'm going to use scan dot next byte or uh, next integer because it's a integer um variable okay so we got that right okay so now i'm going to make a switch statement here okay first let's print out something so i'm going to enter the number to display a month name okay all right so we got that here now let's use a switch statement so i'm going to switch okay i'm going to apply that to month so i'm going to use month okay and then a block of code all right and then down here we're going to type case so the case one if it's a one okay if we press one from the console which is a scanner class there so what it should do okay so you need to type a colon here a full column to apply the case and now as out right so if that case happens i need to print out january okay that's done all right so the next statement is a break statement so what it does basically if they that statement becomes true it will break the code and it will not execute the code anymore it's that simple if that's happen okay this will break the code and it will jump to the the last part of the code it will finish the program okay so the next case so we're going to have case two okay if that case two happens then print out okay february i don't know if i spelled that right or not but it doesn't really matter and i'm going to type a break statement again if that happens break the program okay case three okay and you use this full column and then s out and then let's say march for number three right break it done case four and let me do that 12 times and then once i'm done i come back all right so just give me a second all right so i've written down that case is 12 cases so number one january number two february and so on okay so the last thing what i want to do here is if none of that thing happen let's say if we write 13 or 14 what it should do it should do i'm going to default and i'm going to press enter and then system out I'm going to say that enter the right number okay so we have 12 cases here in the switch statement it's very simple case one full colon and print out this and if that happens break the program okay so let's run this program now I'm gonna click on this play icon and it's going should ask us enter Okay, so here we need to uh, get the, let's say if I type two, enter. So it's telling me that enter the number and February. One thing we have to change here. Okay, we have to cut this line and paste it on the top of our variable. All right, let's just fix up the tabulation. All right, so let's run the program again and it should ask first to enter the number. Alright, so I'm going to type, let's say, 
35 right what it should say enter the right number so this is a quick example of switch statement you can do that with the strings as well so with the string if you change that to let's say uh, i'm going to get rid of uh, some of the cases here let's say we only need three of them all right i'm going to get rid of it i'll change i'll show you how to do it with this string okay so with that i'm going to change that to the data type of my variable to a string and then i'm going to change that to next dot into only next which takes a string from console okay here i'm going to change that to name and on the top we need to change the variable name as well name all right so the case one okay so it should print my name i'll change that to a waste mirza and the next time i'll say john and i'll say alex and then i will s default i'll say uh, the person doesn't exist okay so we got three cases so i want to do here if i say let's say i want to do let's say in a double quotes okay in the double quotes you can type let's say just gonna go into double quotes okay always if i type always let's make it lowercase and then print out this okay and then second case in double quotes you say john okay print out john and if i say um double quotes alex should print out alex and then that's it all right so let's uh, run the program now let's see what it says it's still gonna tell me enter the number but um i'll have to type uh let's say i'll type always should say away smusa that's right so you can make it work with the strings and integers um it does work with the double and float values as well so that was a quick tutorial on switch statement i hope you like it if you need more explanation let me know in the comments below so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next video cheers